Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to On How Channel. If you don't know, my name is Enes I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that? Because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to add the add to cart button to collection page on your Shopify store. So I know not every team on Shopify has actually the add to cart button option on the collection page you will only see the products and the, uh, once the customers want to add them to the cart he need actually to access the product page then click on the add to cart button so if you are using debut team or some other teams you might not be able or have the option to set the add to cart button on the collection page without the customers having to access the product page actually in order to add it to the cart in this video i will show you how to add the add to cart button to collection pages on any shopify team and I mean actually only Shopify team. There is some uh, Shopify teams that already have the option, but it's hidden. Not that many people know about. So I will show you two ways. The first one, if the option is already available, but hidden, you cannot find it. I will show you how to find it and enable the add to cart button on the products on collection page. However, if the team doesn't have the option, well, I got you in that case as well. I will show you how to add the add to cart button to a team that does not have the option and the team was built without the add to cart button on the products on collection page but in this video i will show you how to add them without the developers actually adding the add to cart button to the team on the collection page i mean so no worries i got you in both ways even if your team doesn't have that option i will show you how to add it and if your team has that option just follow me with the instructions that we do in this video and you will find that option and enable it just from the team customizer and without any more talking let's just jump to it as you can see by the way this is the shopify store that i do tutorials on and this is the down team by the way on the shopify store and yeah i did implement a video banner as well as transparent header as well as the hover effect and a lot more options to, to this down team so if you are interested in how to customize your shopify store make it unique and branded Make sure to check out my channel there is a lot of things that you can see in this uh, uh, shopify store in here i did them in tutorials even the small little things that you cannot find anywhere for example removing the underline from the menu once you hover over them it does show a line underneath the menu once you hover over it uh, in my video i did show you how to remove that line and there is no video on youtube that can show you that those things you will only find on my channel so as i said if you are interested in customizing your shopify store check out my channel all the code or everything i do share on my channel is completely free the only thing i'm asking for just like the banner says just a like please that's the only thing i'm asking for as i said every code i do share i do provide it the link for it in the description box without having to pay for it or anything like that you just have to click and you will be directed to the code but what i'm talking about for this video is this one right here so as you can see the down team already has the add to cart button by default on the collection page so uh, each, each product in here has the add to cart button below it right here so we want this option on every shopify team as i said some shopify stores already have the option but it's hidden in this video i will show you how to find that option and some other shopify stores does not have the option at all i will show you how to add that as well and without any more talking again let's just jump to it so the first thing you're going to do is obviously access shopify dashboard in here then click on online store from here and let me check out a team that does not have the option because as i said down team already have the option by default so sense team for example let me preview sense team in here so as you can see this is sense team and as you can see does not have the option on it and let me uh, get back to the other one which is debut team debut team does not have the option even on the team settings or the team customizer and let me show you that right now let's just do preview again so as you can see this is down team and this is a collection page called tech accessories as you can see and there is no add to cart button in here anywhere and as well as sense team in here does not have the option but sense team already have that option in the team settings but it's hidden first i will show you how to add it to sense team which is the one that already has the option but it's hidden then the second trick i will show you is how to add it to like a down team that does not have even the option on the team settings and we will add a custom code that will add the add to cart button to any product on the collection page so i will stay here and i will do the trick come back in here reload the page and the add to cart button should be visible in here but first let me do it for sense team first so let me access in here the team customizer for the sense team which is the one that I said already have it on the team customizer so this is sense team in here so I'm going to click on customize 
and it will take me to the team customizer after that i'm going to click on the option in here the home page then i'm going to click on collection and the default collection which is the collection page on my shopify store and in here it will show a default collection which is the best selling product so the second thing you're going to do is click on the product grid which is the one that has all the products in it which is this one right here that you can see so simply click on it then it will show you those options on the right panel right here so you can customize the product grid and here we go as you can see it says enable a quick add to cart and the add button which is add to cart button obviously so simply you can enable this option and it will show an add to cart button below each product in here so let me enable it from here it does not show up let me reload the page and here it is it does show up right now so as you can see the product that has some variance on it it will show show options choose options sorry but a product that does not have variance on it it will show add to cart which is this one uh, as you can see so this one doesn't have any variants only has one variant for the product that's why it directly shows add to cart this one has multiple variants so it says say uh, choose option so the customer will click on it and it will show him the options for the uh, variant as you can see white or black or pink or whatever the case is then you can click on add to cart and without even accessing the product page obviously that's the the most important point in here so successfully we did add it to uh, sense team in here let me reload the page i hope it doesn't redirect me to down team yeah it does uh, so let me get back in here and let do, let's just do preview so we can see that actually in action and here we go so the collection page which is tech accessories on sense team it does have right now the add to cart which is as i said the ones that have multiple variants it does show a choose option once you click on it it will show this, this page directly without even accessing the product page and you can pick uh, which option you want from here then add to cart or buy it now button so right now we did add add to cart button to the team that's already have that option what if the team doesn't have that option on the team customizer that's exactly what i'm about to show you right now so let, let me close this and let me get back to the debut team let me close this as well and let's just uh, check out the debut team which is this one right here preview and this one doesn't have the add to cart button at all so let me access a collection page from here again so as you can see it doesn't have it the next thing you're going to do is click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit call then it will take you to the call editor for the team and again this trick will work for every shopify team because it will add a custom add to cart button to the collection page so it doesn't matter this in this demonstration i'm using debut team because that's the only team on my uh, Shopify dashboard that doesn't have the add to cart button right now and I know some other teams does have it but I don't have time to <laughs> figure out which one does and which one doesn't so I have this example I'm going to do demonstration on it and even though if you have some problem with this just drop me a comment below I would be happy to help you out and the next thing you're going to do we need to find a file a file called products dash car dash grid so instead of looking up in here on the files it, it might take some time simply use the search bar in here and type in product dash car dash grid in here as i already see it and make sure you do access the one that ends with dot liquid because that's exactly what we need this file right here so simply click on it and once you did access it the next thing you're going to do is obviously as always scroll down description box and you will see a link name it as code and simply click on it you don't have to pay for anything simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here we're gonna see a very short code as you can see and this little code will do the magic of adding the add to cart button to collection page on any shopify team and obviously the next thing you're going to do is simply select the code which is five lines to be exact simply select it and right click and copy after you did copy the code in here get back to the code editor and simply paste it at the bottom of the file and this is really important otherwise it will not work so make sure you do paste it at the bottom of the file so let me let me paste it in here and here we go after you did paste it simply click on the save button right here and after the changes will save it we will get back to the shopify the store which is the collection page on debut team which is the team that doesn't have the option as you can see right now and we will reload the page and add to cart button to show show up in here so let me do that let's just reload the page and see if that will work or not and i'm sure it does so let's just reload the page and here we go check out the add to cart button right now with the counter for the quantity how many products you want to add to the cart as you can see and this will work for every shopify team as i said on the collection page and right now each product has an add to cart below it as well as the quantity option as you can see and it works just fine for example if we did add this product let me click on add to cart and it will take me directly to the cart 
and here we go I already have these ones in the cart and this is the product that we did add right now as you can see and this is the cart page and that's how you add the add to cart button to collection page on your Shopify store and it works for every Shopify team whatever it does have the option on the team settings or not in this video I did show you how to add that easily without having to hire a developer in order to do so and if this video helped you out as I said help me out pressing that like button I would really appreciate it and if you have any questions or any video requests make sure to drop on below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me I do reply to each comment if you are wondering again why is that because simply I'm working for you otherwise I think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you on the next one